Mike Cat. We can only play a short snippet. You two, like. Right? <laughs> hey, man, you can't be putting on no Carmax, though. Why you fucking. Why not? You put on some Carmax, man. No, nah, no, nah, I say you don't. That's why I, I looked away. You know, I went. Oh, okay, right, right, right. No doubt, no doubt, man. <laughs> Hey, first of all, respect. You've always been good about that, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, tell the story about how uh, 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 Vince and your mans. <sighs> Vince, if you out there, bro, yo. Hey, is this going on? You're going to edit this out? You going to edit this out? Why? <laughs> 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 Yo, they knew the, 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 the bad thing about it is because they knew about the man law of not putting fucking Carmex or any type of lip touching in front of another man. So they look, hey Rick, you a mouch. You we were sitting right oh, next man. to each other. This nigga ah <laughs> This nigga ah he had the Carmex. Oh wait, was it Vince that gave it to Ock or was it Ock that gave it to Vince? It was Vince that gave it to Ock. Vince, <laughs> Vince had the Octa Carmex, right? But he didn't give it to him because he saw us sitting right there, right? He didn't make it obvious. He had that nigga to sit like this. He had it to him like this. <laughs> hey, he thought we weren't looking. That nigga Rick was like, ah! Carmex, man. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> on <her lips>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we jumped on this shit ASAP. Like, y'all ain't see shit. Y'all ain't see. Hey, Chris, you a wild nigga, G. <laughs> that show was hilarious, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ock, you a wild nigga, dude, for accepting this shit, man. Real talk, man. <laughs> Yeah, All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, let's go, man. Enough of the nonsense. Y'all ready? Yeah, we ready. Yeah, we ready, man. Let's go. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take them off of here. But there's only one, and that's me. It's like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are. Yo, welcome to Sports Life and Hip Hop. Once again, as usual, you got the usual crew. You got the one and only Zeke. You got my main man, Ricky Sweet. And I'm Channel 7. Uh, as usual, man, we're here for a good time, not a long time, man. Um, <laughs> first of all, to the thousands and thousands of listeners, man, gratitude, man. I'm, 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 I'm low-key, I'm kind of humbled, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been doing this, what, over a year now, right? Since we left uh, SoundCloud. Like, the SoundCloud days sound like like ages ago, right? <laughs> like, Quiet as kept, we got some of our best material on that shit, man. And it's on YouTube. Check that out. It's on audio, but if y'all check it out, man, it's a good listen, man. This is hilarious. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around with us, man. Um, let's kick it off, man. I wanted to kick it off with, um, first of all, sending shout-outs to, to some other podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I feel like, you know what I'm saying, being in the podcast game, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're competing with these niggas, but at the same time, it's a league. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me send a shout out to Roy and Maul, man. You know what I'm saying? I, these niggas just got a $10 million deal with, uh, what was that, Sirius? They on Sirius Radio now? Yeah. Something like that. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, they just raised the bar. Like, I look at it like, say it again? You know, for them to leave Button. You know what I'm saying? They didn't think that they would come. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it was like bad blood. So they probably on the real. They, 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 probably, they probably didn't think that they were gonna make it, or they probably was confident, but still, like they were all friends. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I didn't think they were gonna make it. Yeah. So 
Academics, why you mad for? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, but ten million, that just all that does is raise the bar for the league in general. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoever is under them, maybe they'll get a seven million dollar deal. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's under them, maybe they'll get a six or four million, man. We maybe we'll get a a hundred dollar deal, a thousand dollar deal. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. where there's more we, we probably would have had to pay them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just raised the bar. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them. And uh, just the league in general, the podcast is the league in general. I love this shit. Also, as far as other podcasts, man, shout out to Nori, man. Yeah, what y'all think about the the uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, podcast? That's probably the interview of the year. I thought, I thought he was trying. I, I thought he was trying. I never thought. Because he would say he would get Drake, but he wouldn't get Drake. Like, Drake wouldn't come on. But then yeah. when I saw Pusha T saying, you know, Donda and all that, and like as if to say Ye was gonna be I'm like, nah, he ain't getting Ye. Yeah, when I first heard that I was like, no way, Nori. I was like, if Nori would have said something weeks ago or something. Okay. Right. I was like, nah. I, I actually I actually figured he, I was like more believing that the Ye I believed him the Ye interview more than the Drake interview. You know what I'm saying? Because Drake's so elusive. He said, he said the Drake interview was coming. I think. Yeah, he did. Right, he said it. But we all, none of us believed it. You know what I'm saying? But when yeah. I heard the Yay <laughs> joint. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? When I heard the Yay joint, though, I, I believed it. Because, you know, there's ties there. You know what I'm saying? You did? He started dropping shit, dropping a little cool. He got the, the haircut like Yay. I was like, Okay, he might get yay, but it might be like a thirty-minute interview. But it was a, it was a real drink champ. Yeah, it was a real drink. He got him. But it's real ties there. You know what I'm saying? He got close ties with Dame. Nori got ties with Dame. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole tie tie the big thing and Nori. You know what I'm saying? Like it is really kind of tied in with the Rock. Nori's a troll, so I just thought he was kind of fucking. I thought he was going to right. come out like with the yay haircut. Like, Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm yay. I'm going to act like yay. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well, what's crazy is he don't even do interviews. He actually did like... He, yeah, Kanye, Kanye don't do interviews. Don't like, do interviews dude. That shit was hard. I, I think he came out in the right format, too. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can, he can open up. You know what I'm saying? He can he go to anybody else. They would have been cutting him off and... Nori did. Nori interrupted. But but Ye but Ye is such a big. His presence is so big. Like his interruptions. Like he he was like kind of like waved him off and got back to his shit when he was on anyway. Like if he would have went to like like Charlemagne or some shit, he you know what I'm saying. He probably would have got irritated because he couldn't get get off with it, whatever was on his mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you think and y'all can answer this maybe. Do you think Nori and Ye, they got a relationship before he became big time? Because I, I, I was trying to think when, like, Nori was with Rockefeller unofficially. So was that during the time they kind of... Well, that's all under Def Jam. Def right? Jam, yeah. Right. Well, in the interview, he said he got a, tra- a couple tracks off Ye, but they just never came out. Mm. Oh, I ain't Remember, he said he couldn't afford it. He was like, I couldn't afford to pay you. <laughs> so you know, what I'm saying? like, I forgot he's got the uh, that's that song. Wow, he got that from Nori. Yeah, he did. Because he said wow. that in the song. He like, said, yeah. like, yo, how right. you know what they say? I go to Jacob with twenty. I forgot he got that line from Nori. Wow. Yeah, that's a Nori. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was a real interview. You think this is the first of like well like like you said if, if uh, he go on breakfast so you think this is the first of many interviews or you think this, he's just gonna be one and done? I don't think it's a one of I I think he might do one or two. I, I mean he he's strategic with everything he does. You know, so I so I mean like this was strategic. He doesn't. I don't think he just up and said I'm gonna do a nor uh, uh, I think I'll take Nori. You know what I'm saying? Like he was strategic and you know what I'm saying how he did it. He knew who, what he was doing. Well, yeah, he he really cast when they doing a well he ain't really doing a a, a press run, so to say. Right. Like they usually yeah, they don't do it. up sway. Right. He ain't gonna do all that. Right. He ain't doing no runs. He ain't doing no releases and shit, rollouts. No. He did say Don the uh, re release was coming though. 
So it's gonna be more. Yeah, it said a bonus, a deluxe, or something, right? The deluxe. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I don't think he's gonna go to Breakfast Club or nothing like that. I don't think he would. I think he would did already. They all would have probably dropped at the same time, pretty much. Right. Well, I mean, this is Jay though. We talk about like you know what I'm saying, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like I, I already know he got true, true. Yeah, with the Pablo album, like he put out like three different versions. Of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Were y'all were y'all happy? Overall, the interview was good. Okay, we all yeah. agree with that. Mm-hmm. Were you guys see the well? Did you see the infatuation that he has with Drake? Like everything is, <laughs> is like Drake. Like he says Drake name a lot. Him and um, Virgil. Like it almost made me feel like he got beef from him. But he says just because you say his name don't mean he got beef. But he did say Drake and Virgil's name a lot. I saw that different though. Like I saw that, and yeah, because he did. But I saw that like he fuck with them. They fuck with you. They they cool. Yeah, ain't no real beef. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ain't no real beef, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like that's to me. That's like some niggas like taking shots on some rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they really do that. Like you know what I'm saying? I didn't know Drake was getting down with him on the uh, free Larry Hoover thing. Like OVO, like his camp, like they they part of that, you know what I'm saying? That, that campaign. Oh, I know. Mean, I know. Yeah, yeah. You know he did kind of sound like he had some animosity towards Drake when it came to Kim, though. He was I mean, like, "Yo, you talking about smashing my wife, nigga?" Yeah. <laughs> but he got animosity towards everybody when it comes to that. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I mean, and and there there you go with the shots. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be there's a little something there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a little something there, but it ain't what. It ain't like you know what I'm saying with people. It ain't, it, ain't on, it ain't on site, right? It ain't no on site catch you in traffic, none of that shit. You know like what I'm saying? We said we're professional rappers. Yeah, right, like, it's like wrestling. we in the NBA. Yeah, right. Everything was like we. It's like we in the NBA. Did y'all hear the flexes though? Like he flex different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he said it. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas like they be like they. Yo, I was chilling with uh. I was chilling with my fucking, uh, uh, I was chilling with Jay the other day. This nigga said, I was chilling with Elon Musk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His flex game is ridiculous, dude. His he name flex is different. His, his name dropping is crazy, dude. And I no, watched it. Crazy, the the the, yeah. uh, Drop the name. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. He got money. What a- I mean, he he got goals, like, and he's still thriving to make more, do more things. I mean, salute to him. What a, what about the um the fact that <clears throat> what I love is like uh, I don't, let me ask you this. I'm gonna ask y'all a question, though, and there's a reason I'm asking y'all this because like, has there been moments in time, like, all right, so we've all, I mean, going back to the SoundCloud days, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've said our top fives. Probably twenty times, right? So I know y'all top five. Y'all know my top five. Like, is there an era in time where you only listen to one artist? Because all my top five, like I put them in my top five because there's moments where, and when I say moments, there's months, sometimes two, three months, when I only listen to Prodigy, I only listen to Guru, I only listen to Play Z. I don't do that. You okay. were the same artist for two months straight, nothing else? I mean, I was just engulfed in, maybe that's the artist in me, but I've been engulfed in these certain artists. That's why I put them in my top five. Like, they capsulated my life for, for like, <laughs> days at a time. You know what I'm saying? I might do it. A, a, a week, a week, a week is pushing it. I may do three days. For the okay. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is because you know what I'm saying. I think I forgot about Kanye. I think I'm. I, I think this interview, what this interview did, it, it, it. I think I realized like I'm more than a Kanye fan. I think I'm a Kanye stan. <laughs> like I fucks with Kanye. Like, like are most people? Most people are stan. When he first dropped, I was I everyone's, was all in. Yeah, everybody's a Kanye stan for the most part. But he's never been in my top five. 
Mm. But I, now you got no way back. <laughs> because when I went back and I put the criteria of my top five, the yes or no question. There's been months where I listen to nothing but Kanye. There's the no question. Huh? He's in your top so five. He's in your top five. But I got so many people that I, like even game, like even game, I've, I've listened to for months, and I listen to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ross and game, like you know what I'm saying? They're not in your top five. I know that. But I overlooked the Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it was a given that Kanye is one of the dopest artists. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, this interview kind of brought me back. Like, like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a certain genius in how he. He thinks and how he communicates and how, you know what I'm saying? I think people are going to gravitate to the Big Sean, this is the Tyler Kweli, this is the John Legend, this is... Right, that's what everybody and not really... And not really... What you say, Z? That's what everybody's going to want to hear. Them the headlines with the people he dissed. But he dropped all types of jewels and gems through that shit that, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> boy, that man, he think totally different, bro. Kanye and Cole, bro, like... I'm talking like in life, like the whole construct of what the whole construct of what a house is, what a home is. Like, yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? He said, yeah, like I'm homeless. But you know what I'm saying? But then he followed that. But like, what is a home? You know what I'm saying? Like, four walls around you. You know what I'm saying? He said, home is when he talks to his to his his son. You know what I'm saying? Or his daughter, right? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> let's not give him too much credit. We've all thought about that. We've all thought about that. We just don't have about them. what? About like, oh, I, I live in a home, but really, this is just a home. Like, this isn't like home isn't home. Like, home is with family. We've all thought about that. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You know what nah. I'm yeah, nah. See, I'm not that guy. I'm not yeah. that guy. I'm not sure. You're a third. All of y'all, are, first of all, all three, all three of us are third. I think so. You <laughs> definitely thought about that, Joe. Zeke, you no, I'm saying, you might have crossed my mind before. I'm sure. But I'm saying I'm not that guy that that, that like feeds into the abstract. You don't have the means to think like that and actually say I build relationships over the time where I can fucking. Go right, to I'm Mike's house and say, you know what? I built so much relationship and we got so much money together. I can stay at your fucking billion dollar fucking mansion and it'd be okay. He has the means. It's a different level. It's a man. different level. That's a, I see what you're his homeless is different level than motherfucking where we at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His like, like he knows his name drop game and in the in the relationships he's he's um nurtured over the years have been so successful and whatnot that he's able to go to Elon Musk house and say, Hey man, I'm staying here for a year. And what's Elon Musk going to say? No, he's going to say, of course, sure. You know, stay in my home in fucking Barbados. You know what I'm saying? Like he's on another level, man. Like he said that himself when he was trying to get the, uh, the hotel room. He's like, yo, we ain't got no rooms. He said he pulled down his mat. Man, y'all ain't got no rooms. Then they come. They come the room, dude. <laughs> that's what he's on another level, dude. And we no, no, no. But we thought of this. It's just we don't have the money. No, nah, I disagree because at the same. I mean, I agree with what you're saying. Like it's easy for him to say. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But at the same time, right? I said, by the same time, I'm saying just the construct in general, the thought of the concept of what we consider as home. You know what I'm saying? In general, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to come to a place that you pay mortgage to or pay rent to every, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't have to be a home. Like, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not impressed. The way he thinks, I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying? I've thought about that, yes. But I'm saying, but at the same time, I've still been part of the construct of what, He's got billions, of think. course. He can think like that, Joe. He's gotten that way. Yo, he's gotten that way because he's reached a certain level. Yeah. He wasn't thinking like that in college dropout. Nah. Exactly. He's gotten to a, he's right. gotten so much success in his life that he can think like that where like, I ain't gonna do I guarantee you this motherfucker can go to any restaurant, high end restaurant in America, and I guarantee you he don't pay me. Cause you're so rich. Right, right. 
money shit. is no it's, good. It's here. the opposite of, of fucking having like you would think that someone that has money that that they would be like, yo, no, you pay whatever you want. You know, no, it's the opposite. A Kanye West eats for free. Me and you, we gotta pay the bill. Yep. No, no, no. The difference, the difference is family. Huh? Because I promise you, like this, right now, just based off that interview, I would change one hundred percent. And if y'all know me, if anybody knows, uh, I would one hundred percent change if I didn't have kids. Wait, I would, I would drop. Every, I would say, yo, fuck work, everything. I fucking totally one hundred percent agree. To, it's not about money. I would agree, I would live the way he lives because I agree with not being in a, in this box of what is considered home. I, I do agree with you. I have kids. I have kids. That's what limits me. No. Not money. No, no, money does. Dude, money takes you to a not for me. Well, it would be levels to it because you would be on the ground level because you wouldn't have. Yeah, it. he goes and sleeps with Virgil. I come crash with you. I come crash with with uh, right. Z. That's why. I, that's why I said money is the game changer. Like that's that's what it is. It's not the kid. It's not the family aspect. Like he has so much money that he can go anywhere in the world and they recognize him. It ain't because he fucking has a family. It's because he fucking is known. He's a notable. It's because he fucking got millions of dollars. He's got wealth upon wealth. So with that being said, that changed the game for him. Like I said, when he was when he was hungry trying to get a deal. From Def Jam, he wasn't he wasn't thinking like this. I mean, over time, as you reach your goals and you reach a certain amount of wealth, you're gonna be on a whole nother stratosphere, dude. Like his way of life is totally way of thinking of Joe Channel Seven, me being homeless, Channel Seven, because mm. you broke, and his homeless ain't is it ain't broke at all, because right. he can go anywhere in the world and and, and get a cop. For the point. I'm talking about five yeah, star I'm talking about five star hotels. I'm sorry that he can get a cot, and they'll just get off the strength of his name. You ain't getting shit off the strength of your name. You gonna get what? What you gonna get? The at the L on the red? Are you still gonna work? But see, but that's what I'm saying. Like I still gotta work, right? He's worked. We can do that off the strength of his name because of his work, like right. the work that he put in. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Like well, either way, we got both got to work. It ain't like he just he's just Kanye West because he's Kanye West. He's right. doing a certain amount of work that affords him that privilege. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's doing something that he loves as work. Right. So I'm saying that's why I'm saying family is the real limitation. It's not really money because I would drop everything and live the way he lives. What is your thought? Money makes things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It makes it so much easier. So much. Oh yeah, it definitely makes it easier. Like you know, what I'm saying when they say that, like like when Big said more money, more problems. You know, what I'm saying like I never agree with that. That's true, but you don't. I don't, that. I don't agree with that. No, I do not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I how many, how many problems you think Kanye got? Yeah, I'm sure he got a lot. He got problems. Yeah, but he money he got. He's not, but his worries aren't like, damn, if I fuck up, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat next year. No, nah, we, uh, I worry. He worried, he worried about his mortality though. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. He, yeah, that's scary in, in itself. He's all, but he's not worried about his family eating. Nah, no, you know he's saying? worried about his family's uh, uh, mortality. His whole family rich. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Our worries are, damn, if we don't punch in, my family, my my, my, mor- my mortgage ain't gonna, my, my rent ain't gonna get paid. But for us, our mortgage ain't gonna pay. My family ain't gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, his worries are different. That's not gonna stay up. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Or that. Like, you know what I'm saying? not gonna stay up. He <laughs> has <laughs> to work. <laughs> You think he? <laughs> you think he's thinking about his backdrop? He is a fucking <laughs> custom studio. Now, one more thing about the uh, punching the clock. I haven't done. I just thought of this just now. I haven't th- done the full research yet. But Kanye is one of the. I'm pretty sure it's only 
probably a few artists that actually punched the clock. Because he did work at the Gap. He did work at the Lark. I, I got to do my research he, on that. And he stole, many, he stole from the Lark. <laughs> I got to see how many rappers actually punched the clock before they start rapping. I don't think 50 did. 50, 50 ain't punching no clock. 50 was a hustler. Jay wasn't punching no clock, I don't think. He was a hustler. Dr. Dre was a hustler. Yeah, Dre wasn't punching the clock. Ice Cube was, he wasn't punching They the got clock. on pretty early, so they didn't need to punch a clock. Yeah, go Al, Al, Al Chemist, he, he was rich. He didn't punch no clock. He was nope. rich. Yeah, I peeped the flex. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he said he sent out a, um, he sent out a group text. He said, I'm richer than everybody in here combined. Yeah, it included cool. Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he, he had bad respect for Jay when he was like, he was like, man, he's like, hey, you think you better than Jay? He's like, I would no versus. He's like, man, I can't beat Jay. <laughs> like his his humility came out when he comes yeah. talking about Jay, dude. Like that's his big brother, right? <laughs> his big brother. Hey, seriously, that you imagine that, big brother. <laughs> you imagine that fucking uh, that group chat that he said he had, he was in. It was like Drake. Fucking Beyonce, Jay. Right. Like, is he worth more than Jay and Beyonce and Drake combined? No. He said not Billy. He said. <clears throat> He's not think worth. about it. The flex that he said in the interview though kind of made sense. He said he can compete with Drake in the music industry. True. He said he can compete with the upper echelons in the fashion industry. Yep. True. True. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he's like in the upper echelon of two different industries. You know what I'm saying? He said nine billion. That's self-proclaimed. Now I say he's bullshitting and I'll exaggerate, exaggerating, and he's only worth five billion. Say he's only exactly worth four billion. The people he named in that group text, he's still worth more than them all together. Drake is the yeah. only. I mean, yeah. Drake is the only yeah. billion. So Jay and Drake. Who? Say it again. J, J and B are a billion. Beyond okay, that's two billion. Say he was exaggerating at nine, and he was only and he's only worth five bill. With Dre ain't worth. Uh, Drake, Drake ain't worth a billion. Drake is like five hundred million. Yeah, yeah maybe. You said, five, you said five billion, Drake. Yeah. No, Drake mill five hundred mil. Right, right. So, so, he, so he's all right. So now we had two point five billion. <laughs> he's still worth more than everybody. Travis Scott ain't close to a billion. He can't. Travis Scott, he gonna be there though. He's gonna get there. I don't know. I mean, he, he, not that he's struggling. I don't think he's at a billion. He's struggling, but yeah, he ain't no billionaire. He definitely on the Forbes, but no, not not billions. Shout out to the to the to the to the eight deaths that include the fourteen year old boy at the um. At the uh, what you call a concert, man. The, the um, that shit was sad, man. At the uh, Travis Scott concert, man. Dude, fourteen. That's the Michael Jackson shit. Travis yeah. Scott on Michael Jackson level, dude. He's not up there. Yeah. Like people dying, like because they storm and trying to get close to the stage. Yeah, that's that's some Michael Jackson. That's shit, some dude. superstar. That's shit. some. That's some. Well, real talk. What do you mean? Uh, is it superstar shit or is it just some no. dumbass kid shit? No, Travis. I, not, I mean, it's it's dumbass kid shit, but it was dumbass kid Travis shit Scott, back then. Travis Scott is, is a major artist. Like, oh yeah, definitely a major artist. Yeah. Hey, it was dumbass kid shit when Michael Jackson when they were passing out and shit. You know, it's definitely dumbass kid shit. You know, what I'm but he's there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, people passing out and crying for Travis Scott, though? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Man, dog, that's a bad way to trample to death. That's a pain, yeah. At first, I was going to say, he you can't really blame him for it. I'm like, yeah, it ain't his fault. He's yeah, they're getting sued. Him and Drake. I saw, on nah, Twitter, I saw on Twitter that uh, Puffy and Heavy D had a concert like back in the 90s. In a high school gym that only held fifteen hundred people, and they sold uh -huh. two, they sold two thousand tickets. Mm -hmm. And people rushed the door there, and and people got trampled. Like ten people died, and they said 
the city and Diddy and Heavy D was like 50 50 liable, and they got a bunch of civil suits. Yeah, I heard about that. So that's right. probably gonna be Travis Scott too. He definitely gonna get civil suits no matter what. Hey, more money. More I mean, he got insurance to cover that. There's the more money, more problems. Like, the lower, the lower level artists that perform there, they ain't gonna get to this Travis Scott it's Travis show. Scott and Drake. Yeah, they gonna mention right. they got the money, more money. But even he, but even he ain't gonna get touched. You know what I'm saying? You know the, the insurance they got. That that's the part. That's the whole problem with touring. Huh? What do you mean by not get touched? Like not go to jail? I mean financially. Like you know what I'm saying? They have insurance. That's the whole problem with promoters and, and venues. Like you know what I'm saying? Like finding the insurance to cover these artists. Like so he ain't someone like that. He ain't gonna get touched, dog. Not a dime. No, no. You know what I'm saying? So why are you apologize? Well, I guess that's for. Uh, no, that's a PR. Uh, y'all didn't see the apology. Y'all didn't see Travis Scott. Yeah, looking an apology too. What? Did you see it? Didn't like the way he kept rubbing his head. Man, he kept doing like this, like. Oh man. Oh. Wouldn't it be better just to not say nothing? No, no. He could. Now he gotta say something. He could have put on the text form, a text. He could have did that, but they probably made him do a press conference. Well, he didn't do it. He was just holding his phone like, yo, man. Yeah, that was. He wild. had to. Yeah. But, but, that's, but you got to remember his yeah, audience. Yeah, and yeah, he he something, something, man. No, but, but how he communicates with his people, like, that's. That's, that's how he had to do it. That's a public. Uh, that's a PR move. He should have released a statement. Not on. I just record the stuff on IG Live. It would have been. It would have been a better look. I, I, I think. Either or, either or. You know what I'm saying? Like he had to do something. He couldn't just be silent. But I was going to transition that to uh, Henry Ruggs. Uh, Who? Henry Ruggs, the, no. uh, the Raiders uh, receiver that went 156 miles, <clears throat> playing airplane takeoff mode. So you think he's going to jail? No. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 he'll go to jail. He's done. It, it's not what for a long time. Done? It's not for a long time, though. What? No, toast. What do you mean by toast? What's toast? What's toast? For life? Yeah, he ain't going for to life. life. <laughs> no, I'm talking. I mean, shit. You two, twenty to twenty-five is done to me. Well, we can go for life. He's not doing that. I think he's going to jail. He's going to jail. It may be a year. Yeah. Well, he got what? He killed. He got mass law involuntary. He power killed somebody, dude. And he only did fucking two weeks. <laughs> Look it up. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Dante Stallworth killed a motherfucker. Without saying he was drunk. Slightly different. He was drunk. Killed a motherfucker. He was drunk the night before. He was drunk. That has a lot. But he was drunk. <laughs> Killed a motherfucker. He did two weeks. This dude was in the street trying to catch a bus or some shit. So he's kind of in the way. And he said he flashed his light. Well, I don't know why he just didn't stop. But he said he exactly. flashed his lights to get dude Man, to get out of the way. He got two weeks. Fuck yeah, I don't know. He, dude, Josh Gordon does. Dude, he gonna get a job. Josh Gordon doing drugs it, it never hurt nobody. He hurt himself. He hurt himself. <laughs> Henry Ruggs, although I'm not 100% confident he'll play in the NFL, he's not doing no more than five years. Hell, Hell no. Nah. You think he's doing more? Hell yeah. No. He got lawyers. Not- he got money. Well, yeah, that's going to keep you. What prior case can you base that on that he's done? Exactly. That's going to keep him from getting the max. That him got the lawyers and having money is going to keep him from getting the max. Shit, 20 years ain't the max. The, the ma- I, I think that's all. You gotta remember, I'm in Vegas. You gotta remember, I'm in Vegas. That's the biggest thing going down here. That's all I see on the news. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you call it? They talk about the max is like 45 to life. You know what I'm saying? If he gets hit for the DUI. But he ain't getting none of that. 20 years, he's toast. He's not doing 20. You think 20. he's getting 20 just because it's Vegas? No, I'm saying he the, the the fact that he has lawyers and shit, he's getting twenty. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what? they want to nail him. This is a pub. He's a public image. This is a public. This is a uh, a public case. They're trying to nail his ass. Star Wars then, right? 
What about Jason Williams? <laughs> a, a, a fucking limo driver. That he, was an accident. He still killed somebody. This is an accident. No matter how doing you doing a buck fifty drunk, doing a buck fifty drunk. In 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 my Z. And not only accident he didn't mean it. hey and not only and let me throw you in the hey and don't let me throw in peter don't hey don't let me throw in peter he also killed a dog yeah. <laughs> that's probably the worst i don't think he does 20 though 20 20 is 20. 20 how many years one. you think he doing joe how long did mike vick do he doing at least 15. <laughs> what Man. you are harsh you are crazy you <laughs> Judd, that matter of fact, that's what the judge's gonna do. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do that long. Like, you know, you're right. It's not. Uh, he didn't wake up this morning. That morning, like, yo, I want to crash into somebody and kill him. Yeah, man, so it's not crazy. murder. Of course, he didn't try to. That's why it's a manslaughter. Yeah, not- it's an accident. Yeah, yeah, manslaughter. Michael Vick, which wasn't an accident, got two years. That wasn't an accident. That was just a dog. Nobody died. No. So what you think a dog and a human? So what do you think a dog and a human? Like, no. <laughs> dude, they they. I don't think you realize how Peter how Peter is within the. I don't think you realize how strong Peter is within the. They got so many. Um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, damn, I forgot what you call them. Uh, Go ahead and finish. I forgot what you call. Uh, 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 damn. Uh, all these like like the uh, caucus. I don't think you realize how big the caucus is in in, in, in Congress. The Peter Peter is strong. The mother they, they are almost stronger than the gays. Like the the, the, the Peter caucus is. <laughs> they they influence whole election. Wait, 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 wait. So your your logic is <laughs> they're strong in Peter more than the gays, and Michael Vick knowingly killed dogs. Knowingly, dog fighting means you're the dog is gonna die, and he only got two years. This dude is a total accident, and you're saying he's gonna be twenty. <laughs> and he killed a dog. And a that don't make sense. Yes, you yes, you know. yo, um special let me let me let me get a shout out. Let me get a shout out. Um yeah, let me look at the camera. Let me get a shout out to my man, uh, Trust My Grind designer. You know what I'm saying? He be lacing us, uh, me, Zeke, and Joe. You know what I'm saying? With the merch. Go check him out. Trust My Grind uh, merch. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's- I ain't got shit. <laughs> Run me something. <laughs> Run me something. Hey, Run me something. I'll rock that shit proudly. Yo, Trust My Good. You know what I'm saying? The. um. I mind my, I mind my business. I just buy sneakers. I, I think I'm getting it wrong. Actually, I got the hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring the hoodie out. But yeah, so like, dude, 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 he sent me merch, like free merch. He was like, "Man, I appreciate y'all." I fuck with him. If you fuck with him, I fuck with him. Buy sneakers and mind, mind my, my business. business. Trust my. Mm. Grind. Yeah, shout out, shout out to trust my grind, yo. Um, they support sports life and hip hop. Nice, nice quality champion reverse nice weave. Um, uh, happy belated to CJ Black Home. Trust me, Black friend. Home. By the way, another shout out. Happy uh, belated to CJ from San Andreas. Joe Carter. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I'm funny. I was wondering when you talking. I was like, damn, CJ, that's 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 hot. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, happy belated to you. Gratitude, gratitude. I'll let them know, definitely. Appreciate it. Appreciate um, it. What else I got on the list? That's all I think that's it. That's all I had. Shout out to Mike, you know what I'm saying? Always. A videographer Mike, you know what I'm saying? Jerry rigged this whole thing together. You know what I'm saying? Dope dopest in the business. Um, that's all I got. I think we can deem Mike his family now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's cool. That's cool love. Yeah. Fuck with Mike, you got a problem. <laughs> 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 
Because you from Chicago, right? Because I'm a shy nigga. Zeke and Ricky got it. You know what? We're going to delve into your uh, your, your, your basketball uh, stories out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely yeah, got we to gotta get into that. So, <clears throat> yo, Chicago fit? Vegas difference. Yeah, or Chicago West Coast shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas weak as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying? Fin- finish eating your ham, man. I see. I see you slaying <laughs> the ham. Hey, yeah, I'm shooting twice. Cobb wouldn't appreciate that. Nah, okay. yeah. Some of your friends wouldn't appreciate it. Some of our friends wouldn't appreciate you eating that. Man. That's why. Hey, man. I'm a Chicago nigga, but I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doubling down, man. I'm not fr- I'm not. D- I'm doubling down, man. Like, real talk. Like, the way I actually put some thought into this. All right, so I live in Chicago 44 years. The way I look at it, I can't claim Vegas until I've turned 89. <laughs> uh, I was in before you uh, in official Vegas can. 88, I'll be half and half. 89, I'll be officially a Vegas nigga. Like, so. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's how <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas still looking at me different. You know what I'm saying? I still talk different. I walk different. My vibe different. I, I feel it. Anyway, man, whatever. We we get the next week, right? You have a Vegas accent at eighty nine. Huh? You have a Vegas accent when you turn eighty nine. I don't think anybody has a Vegas. Everybody's from somewhere else here. Like nobody. I met the first person from actually from Las Vegas like yesterday, man. Real talk. Been here two weeks, and I met the first person that's actually from born and raised here. Born and raised, okay. First, first time in my life. Yo, once again, another dope episode, man. Abbreviated, but fuck it, man. It'll still fly. Um, as usual, we got the usual crew. First of all, shout out to all the listeners on the on the audio podcast on the audio platforms. These are um, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts and the such. Um, Appreciate it, man. If y'all fuck with us on YouTube, uh, by just hearing us, you know, so we appreciate it. Gratitude, our thousands of thousands. Uh, but once again, another dope, dope episode. Got uh, the one and got my man Zeke. Got the one and only Rick D. Shree. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take him off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Know it's like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.